I've decided to play something else this time since I've lost all of my footage. Our many sovereign worlds. I decided to go and use it as an opportunity to play something a little else, different. Sins of a Solar Empire. This is the Rebellion expansion. This is a game that was originally released, I think, in 2007 or 2008. It is a real-time strategy released by Stardock. And it is sort of like a precursor to the game Ashes of the Singularity. In the sense that it is a real-time strategy, but it is intended to be played on a massive scale. Now, it's not as big as Ashes of the Singularity are. There aren't as many units available at any one time. But it was made for more primitive computer hardware. So, it's understandable that it is... Um, somewhat more primitive. So, I'm going to jump into a medium-sized map, and uh, actually let's go into a large, uh, uh, you know what, yeah, medium-sized map, and I don't really remember, it's been a little while since I've played this game, so I don't really remember what all of these look like. But I'm going to go and let's make sure that all of these different things are, say, different. We don't have any teams. Now, since of the Solar Empire, you have three basic factions. You have the TEC, the Trader Emergency Coalition. These are humans. You have the Advent, which are sort of like humans. Well, they are humans, different breed. And the Vasari, which are aliens. Now, the humans are essentially defensively oriented. They focus more on ships that can take a pounding. You have the Advent, which primarily are focused on a um, large number of ships as well as psychic powers. Then you have the Vasari, which are offensively minded. Lots of firepower. And between the two of them in the... Um, Rebellion Expansion, which is the last expansion, you have different versions of each faction. So you have the TEC Loyalists and TEC Rebels. Each one is focused more on offensively or defensively oriented. Now, TCC is already defensively oriented um, faction, and the TEC Loyalists are even more defensively oriented. Now, that sounds like a bad thing, like you take the defensive people and you make them even more defensive. But it actually works to my play style. So I'm going to choose PEC Loyalists. And let's jump into the game and take a look at what this is. I played this game a fitload, just not as much recently. Um, Alright, so here is the first planet that we have. Now this one... We start off with a couple of small ships, but I'm going to build one capital ship. It's going to be a whole battleship. And I'm going to send this son of a bitch, the scout frigate, to auto-explore. So it's going to jump around and more or less just discover what's going on. I'm also going to build a colony frigate so I can... Um, Point me in the right direction colonize new planets. Now, there are two, uh, three stars, okay. So there are three stars and four separate, uh, four separate factions, all we're going to be warring with each other. For phase it's a good possibility I won't run into any of them anytime soon, but I will run into pirates or, uh, the East Valak Front, whatever the hell that is. Small factions that don't, aren't really part of any larger civilization. More or less just things that I have to destroy. Scouts have found a colonizable planet. Alright, so you have to also build out not just your ships to go and explore and colonize planets, Time but you have to go and build things in order to research. Now here's our tech tree. We can't actually research anything because we have no research. We have no research installations, so the way you do that is you go up here, you have military labs, and you have civic research stations. I'm going to go with a military, and just let that get built. 
And then I'm going to take my new fleet. I'm going to send Easily it out here done. because this is a, actually a better planet than this one is. That's just an asteroid. For duty. Give the order. Scouts have found a colonizable planet. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of those. Go ahead. I'm going to send my yes, colony frigate out later, not yet. Jump coordinates. Now this is going to be my home world. Now I don't. There are options. I don't. Pay, didn't really pay attention to what I clicked on, but it is possible that you can have your home world be so vital that if you lose it, Get you the lose the game. I don't think I have to worry about that now. All right, so let's I'm on it. watch this fight. You can zoom way in if you want and watch uh, any one particular ship Scouts have found a colonizable fight. Planet. And this is like one of the cool things about this. This game was made on a bit of a budget, so it does look a little bit cheap. But the scale of the battles is so large that it just, it's awesome. This thing doesn't stand a chance. So you gotta make sure you don't rotate your camera around so much Ready that you forward. lose track of where you were. <laughs> Alright, this military lab is almost complete. So I'm gonna go and find a military technology to research. Um, a lot of it is just like increasing your firepower, increasing your defenses, new structures, new types of ships, and a um, capital ship factory, or a titan factory. Now you have different types of ships. Now you have your frigates, and you have your cruisers. Frigates are these small ships. Cruisers are a little bit larger. Then you have your capital ship, which is what I have here. Ah, oh, shit. It's moving on to attack the uh, colony frigate. Here's a capital ship. Now, every faction has multiple types of capital ships they can build, and you can only build a limited number of them. But you also have titans, which are much bigger than capital ships and much more powerful. But it takes an enormous amount of research, resources and research to build any of them. So it's not something I'm going to be focusing on doing early on. I'm going to be spending my time building up my, uh, my technology and all that before I even try building a Titan. Good day, Commander. Look at this. I, I sent the uh, frigate, uh, this you, uh, colony frigate, in a little too early. It'll be fine, though. It can take a beating. All right, so this planet is now mine. And this, okay, it's not going to attack the colony frigate. It's actually going to attack the planet. But it's almost destroyed, so we're okay. See, look, it's, it's assaulting the planet. Get it there and fuck it up. We're, we'll be okay, I'm not worried. Alright, so... You have to build out the infrastructure of a planet. It's not a... Oh, shit. An enemy explorer. Civilian infrastructure. Now, if you look up at your... Where can I find it? Um, where is it? Here it is. It actually, notice the tax income rate is 1.6. Actually, negative 1.6. So this actually costs me money for every second that it exists. So you need to upgrade civilian infrastructure in order for it to not burn a hole in your wallet just existing. You also want to build extractors for asteroids now you have two types of resources well three types of resources really in the game you have gold credits rather which is your money you have metal which is extracted from this this asteroid here and you have crystal which are extracted from different asteroids maybe i got one in my uh yeah here's a crystal asteroid you can Go and build an extractor. Now, it's going to go and build that extra that uh, metal extractor. And once that's completed, it's going to add to my metal pool. I can also do things like build a frigate factory, capital ship factory, military or civic research lab. Civic research lab is what I'm going to do. Because I don't have any of those right now. And I'm also going to send my ships forward to the next planet. Now, there's going to be a big rush 
in order to uh, after as many planets as you can before an enemy does. So, I'm going to hurry things up a little bit and research this technology right here, which increases the number of capital ships I can have built. Because you want to go and project power as quickly as possible. I'm actually doing it pretty slow because I'm talking about it. So I'm going to be a, a little bit um, behind in terms of advancing. Alright, so that is being built. So I'm going to queue up, before I even have the capacity to build it, I'm going to queue up a capital ship. And, uh, insufficient feed sleep supply. I need to research this as well. You have, up here is the number of capital ships you can have under your command. Down here you have your total fleet supply. Now this will limit how many to overall ships that you have. Or you can build. And you don't want to just research all the way down here because there's an upkeep. Uh, your resources get expended on the upkeep in order to uh, maintain that provisioning standard for your ship. So even you could just do all the way across here, one after the other, but it would all the upkeep would just whittle away your resources. So it's not really worth it until until you. Uh, manage to make it useful you don't want to have that many uh, planets or that many that capacity for a fleet there's a lot of ships here all right so the where to commander I'm gonna tell this to retreat because everybody's gonna attack it I don't want to lose that so early. This is just some pirate faction. Structure complete. Oh, uh, there is a dedicated pirate Stand faction, which is shown up here. Here's the window for it. You have a time limit, which is about 15 minutes-ish. 15 minutes plus who knows how much other extra time. Which will count down, and at the end of that, whoever is located right here, which is me, my name is Cup of Joe. Pirate Raiders will be dispatched to assault that civilization. Now, depending on how much money you put in there, or is in that pool, is how much they will attack you with. So, I am going to have to just sort of hold, uh, make sure right before... The pirate raiders get raiders get loose that I dump some money into somebody else's <laughs> fun so they get attacked instead of me. Alright, so these are actually PEC style ships. Cobalt Light Frigate, um, Black Frigate, which is useful for taking out fighters. Um, Kodiak Heavy Cruiser. Kirov. Siege Frigate or Krosive Siege Frigate. Nothing that my fleet here has to worry about. I might lose these, but my capital ship is definitely going to hold out. Another reason why you want to build capital ships early is because they actually have some RPG elements to them. They level up. And a leveled capital ship is a happy capital ship because they gain not only greater firepower, HP, all that kind of stuff, they... Um, gain new abilities. So, I I didn't choose its initial ability, but like a uh, Goss Railgun, Black Burst. This is for attacking ships. Black Burst is for attacking fighters. Adaptive Force Field increases fields. And uh, Finest Hour is sort of like a defensive thing. But uh, the only thing useful right now is the Railgun. Alright, I lost my additional uh, escorts. Capital ships can engage more than one target at once. See, it's doing this, it's attacking this one as well as this one. This is a, my capital ship is actually going to take a bit of a beating. I should probably actually 
uh, wait for this one to get completed. Ready for battle. Easily done. Uh, where to, Commander? Yes, Commander. There we go. Stand All right, here's my new capital ship. Now, this one doesn't have the same kind of firepower, but what it is is a, it's a kind of an aircraft carrier. It will, um, it has three, at the moment, at its current level, it can have three fighter, three, uh, strike craft. So I'm going to build three bombers. You have bombers and fighters. Fighters are good for taking out other fighters or bombers. Bombers are really only good for attacking structures and Why larger ships. I'm not going to be encountering any fighters for a little while, so bombers it will be. Ready for battle. So as long as you're in the gravity well of something that's being destroyed, your capital ship will gain credit for it in terms of experience points. So I want to have both of these capital Long ships in a gravity well as I'm assaulting it so they both get the credit. They both get the experience points. Fire at will. There we go. For the home world. I'm also going to launch my bomber craft. So, wing reporting. zoom up on them. Oops. Oh, wrong button. Ah, uh, hold on. I, you can focus on them. I just, I'm just doing it wrong. There we go. Aircraft are crazy useful. Alright, let's focus. Uh, where to, Commander? This doesn't look like a planet, but you can colonize it. This is the only one I'm really worried about, because it can attack a planet. The siege frigates can attack planets. Alright, one down. This one's got two metal asteroids and a crystal asteroid, so... It's a good uh, asteroid to have, although it's not going to turn out a lot of resources in terms of credits or infrastructure to build like military labs or anything like that. Come on now, colonize. Go ahead. Colonize it. Ready for orders. Not enough antimatter. All right, so yeah, you can notice here. You have hull, shields, and antimatter. Antimatter is used for everything uh, from abilities to jumping between planets. Used up all its antimatter jumping here, so it's got to wait until it has um, ninety. All right, so my good day, Commander. This uh, this battleship here just leveled up, so it increased its abilities. It also gave us a new ability to uh, to click on. So I'm going to choose adaptive force field because I'm still not expecting to run into any enemy fighter craft. Ready for battle. Good day, Commander. And now I'm going to jump them back over yes, to this Commander. planet so they can do what they got to do. Oh, okay. I got to pay attention to pirates. I'm going to throw some money at this one now. Because in 19 seconds-ish, they were going to, the pirates were going to launch an attack on me. And I was not in position to defend myself against it. So they will attack this civilization instead. If you're playing a multiplayer game, you'll get like a crazy mesh of people uh, right at the end it's trying to. An impending pirate raid. <laughs> oh, okay. Somebody threw money at them also. 
Probably this civilization. Alright. Go ahead. Get your antimatter. Alright, it's gotta get 90. I've got 75 right now. Ready for battle. Time for you to jump. That's just a secret vessel, it won't mark. attack. I'm moving way too slow. Ready for I should have all of these planets by now. Uh, where to, Commander? As soon as it hits 90 antimatter, it'll colonize. Pirate raiders are on the loose. Oh look, they got into a bidding war. I wasn't paying attention. They got into a bidding war with each other. And uh, these guys are going to be attacked by the pirates now. Transmission received. All right, so this planet's mine. So build out civilian infrastructure because it's got a deficit for tax income. Also want to make sure I get the metal and crystal extractors. Fleet is under attack. Then I'm going to move this forward received. to jump to the next planet. Now, my two capital ships are going to have Reading a bit of a fight. Though they definitely are going to win. Either one of these capital ships could have won this fight. But if it takes too much damage, it'll slow down my progress. Which is why I had the, the coal battleship retreat. See this enemy? This ship's already destroyed. We've got these flak frigates which could destroy the bombers. But I'm not worried about that, really. They'll be rebuilt. Planet development finished. Um Alright. I'm gonna start doing technology here. You have military, which is stuff for your ships or ships themselves. You have defense, which is for defensive structures around your planets. You have civilian, which increases things like your like um, how you can colonize planets efficiently or how efficient your mining is of crystal and metal. Diplomacy, which I don't focus as much on, but you really should. Fleet logistics we've already looked at. And artifacts are things you discover on planets. So I've already researched laser amplification. I'm going to go advanced metallurgy increases to your uh, defenses. And... Hangar defense. That's for a defensive structure Go you can ahead. build around the planet, which allows it to launch fighters. Alright, once that siege frigate's gone, I'm going to have my colony ship hop in. Uh, where to, Commander? Yep, just get in here. Now this is not a planet up here, this is just some space junk. So it's not something that you can actually colonize. So I'm going to, once I colonize this planet, I'm going to set this up as a kind of a defensive choke point. And I will set up some defensive fortifications in this area. And send my fleet around in the other direction. Ready for orders. It has no antimatter. Deploying. They don't look friendly. These things can actually attack. They're just not very good at it. It can take a beating though, so these ships are definitely going down before it does. And only one of them actually has any decent firepower against the frigate. Research complete. What was I researching? Oh, okay. So the, the metal extractor. You get more metal out of every... Whatever. Every second. Research complete. Wreck it. Go ahead. Okay, it's about Research to get destroyed. Complete. Frame rate tanks a bit while you're swiveling around. Which is weird, because it's an older game. You'd think it would be a little smoother. 
All right, my uh, look at that, my Stand carrier, by. my carrier um, survived. Well, it didn't survive it. Well, it did survive, but it leveled up. Structure so complete. for this, I have missile batteries, which I've already have in level one. I can't upgrade again just yet. Embargo, which siphons off money from an enemy's planet when it's orbiting, ordering, orbiting in the gravity well. Heavy strike craft, which increases your damage output of your strike craft and rapid manufacturing which I can't get yet I need to level up more allows you to rebuild your strike craft faster so I'm gonna go heavy strike craft oh what is this an envoy take it out take it out uh, where to commander so I'm gonna send my two capital ship once this ship is destroyed I'm going to send my two capital ships over in the other direction and leave my colony frigate here to let it do its thing. I am not going to get attacked anytime soon here, but it will be a vector in which I can be attacked. And I'm going to send my fleet this direction. I do need to research some new technologies in order to, in order to uh, colonize that planet, though, so... I'm going to increase logistics capacity for this planet, which will allow me to build another Research um, civic lab. And I can queue up the technology now. Volcanic exploration, allowing me to colonize volcanic planets. Also, crystal sorting would be good to have. I don't think I'm going to get attacked anytime soon, so we're Go okay. Ahead. Come on now. Face jump on my mark. Yes, Colonize. A new colony has been founded. Yes. All right, I don't have enough crystal to do that, but... Uh... You can buy or sell crystal in the black market here. So buying crystal is expensive. Planet but I do have a lot of metal, so I'm going to sell down some of my metal and buy some crystal. Oh shit, you know what? I, I bought the wrong thing. <laughs> I need 75 crystal, so I'm just going to let that accumulate instead of trying to buy it. Because money is expensive, if you haven't noticed. The further along I get into this game, the more efficient my the more efficient my um, money generation and all that kind of stuff is going to become. Plus, I got a new crystal and two new metal extractors being constructed here. More planets I have, the better off I will be. All right, there we go. I need to upgrade that one more time, but I gotta wait for more crystal. 125 crystal now. But let's get my colony uh, ship where to, Commander? out of here. Transmission received. Standing by. Ready for battle. Is this upgraded all the way? Yes, it is. Now that this one's upgraded, this uh, planet now in tax rate income of 1.3 credits per second. Com link online. We get up there. Come on now. Structure complete. Nothing worse than having a planet which is just sort of a Com uh, link money online. sink, taking all your money and not really producing anything for you. Planet development finished. This one's only point four, but it's not really a planet. It's just an asteroid. Structure complete. Research complete. What was I researching? Oh, fleet logistics. Let's build a new capital ship if I can. So I have one of these and one of these. Um, hmm. I 
I don't have enough money or crystal to buy, so I gotta hold off. Good day, Commander. Okay, that'll. I'm gonna let them fight it out for a minute. Really held up by my lack of crystal. Because I gotta, I want to build a new capital ship. I also want to upgrade this planet's infrastructure, so I'm not losing money here. Like I'm losing 0.2 credits per second on this planet. But once this is, once this is upgraded, then it'll be fine. Structure complete. I could sell some metal, but you know. You lose money on sales as opposed to buys. Or rather, you lose money on buys as opposed to sales. Then again, I do have way more... M oh, wait, no, not really. <laughs> I think I'm better off just waiting it out. Research complete. Alright, so here's the crystal. I already paid for this research. So, once that's done, I'll be gaining crystal more efficiently, more quickly. You do want to pay attention to the tech tree. There are times when I'm playing this game where I've more or less forgotten about the tech tree. And just sort of started building up fleets and... Development finished. Like an idiot didn't realize that I was... Uh, letting my technology fall behind. 250. Eh. Structure complete. Ready for orders. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Yes, Commander. Reading you That's a missile battery that was released from the carrier. Just a temporary thing that can help you blast things. Uh, that's an enemy, and that's a scout frigate, so I'm I couldn't get to it fast enough, but Is my colony ship coming? Go yeah, ahead. it is. So I have a couple of options. There's an enemy civilization sitting up here. Unfortunately, we're occupying the same solar system. So I got to make a decision on where I'm going to make my stand against them. This planet or this planet. I'm going to do it at this planet. I'm going to let them have that one. I know they're not attacking me through here. Oh, actually, you know what? They might. So... I'm going to have to not forget to set up my defenses here. This one's still... Oh, 0.8. Damn it, I was going to build a new capital ship. <laughs> and this planet doesn't have any Research crystal. Complete. Okay, so you have multiple defensive structures that you can build. I'm not actually going to construct any right now. Oh shit, that's a capital ship. Ah, oh, shit. Reading you loud and clear. Moving out. That's a capital ship, damn it. It's gonna bombard my planet. Comlink online. So. Phase jump on my two mark. capital ships are gonna have to go to get down there real quick and engage that one. Hopefully that means I can get there before it manages to bombard my planet. Although it seems like it's passing through. Maybe it's maybe it's trying to get here. But I don't have any allies right now, so it's definitely hostile. I can see it's a level two. Up oh, okay, it's turning towards my planet. Or, you know what? It's attacking this one. Okay, it's going to go and bombard the planet. So, my caps have got to get there quick. That's what I get for not uh, setting my defensive structure. Need more antimatter. 
Well, even if I had a couple of um, turret stations, or I had a couple of hangar defense structures, it wouldn't have done very good against a capital ship. Phase jump what I would need is a star base. Get up there, come on. Calm link online. Let's just take a look at what we could have done. So you have defense gauss uh, defense platform, which is a turret. And then you have hangar defense. I can't actually build any of these because they've already destroyed my uh Here's actually my construction frigate. They're about they're about to wreck it, so no point in even trying. It's bombarding the planet. Up, oh, okay, it broke off. I don't know why. It could not have told it could not have been able to Stand tell by. that my two capital ships were about to attack. Alright, so these are fighters, so they're gonna take out my bombers. So I'm actually gonna go and dismantle one of my bomber squadrons and build a fighter squadron in an attempt to maybe defend against this. It's definitely got more squadrons than I do. And I don't really have what's necessary to defend against the fighters or their bombers. But if I wreck this carrier, they'll, uh, through attrition, they'll just disappear. And hopefully I can take it out before it escapes. I would like to destroy this thing with that. <laughs> now my construction frigates are destroyed, but they can, they will rebuild. Automatically, you don't really have to do anything to make that happen. Squad leader here. My two capital ships against their one. Definitely gonna win. Especially since this is a carrier, which is not really... Attacking an empire has become more uh, profitable. Offensively oriented on its own. Although it is level three now. Damn it. I'm still level two. Uh, you know, I still have the advantage. You know what, I wasn't really paying attention. I do have the money to build my third capital ship. I'm gonna build a Mars at Dreadnought. I'm gonna set a rally point up here so that I am always going to well, it will immediately throw itself into that fight. Is it trying to retreat? Pirate raiders are on the loose. Hmm. Come on now, take it out. I should probably put some kind of effort into defending this one. So I'm just going to build one defensive turret. Planet development finished. It'll hold any enemy's attention for a minute or two. That thing's not offensively oriented, just a, a what do you call it, uh, explorer. Alright, so my carrier's shields are down, so it's taking damage to the hull. The not terribly worried at the moment. Before it gets destroyed, a, a, plus it has less damage on it than the enemy carrier. My Dreadnought, which is probably the most offensively oriented capital I'm ship sure. that the TEC have. Low defensive values, though. It is going to get in there, and it is going to start dealing damage. It's only level 1, though. Two planet hops away, though. 
Reading you loud and clear. Structure complete. I just hope it doesn't miss the destruction of this ship. Missile battery is about to get wrecked. Planet Not that that matters. Finished. This thing's got a lot of uh, carriers. A lot of strike craft. Yeah, I'm definitely going to win that fight. Uh, where to, Commander? Defensive turret isn't built yet. I would have figured it would try to retreat by now. Hasn't. Was it really the case that they only had the one, uh... Capital ship to throw in an attack? That's weird. It's only got 300 some HP left. It's about to be destroyed. Structure complete. Once a strike craft like a fighter or a bomber has been uh, has been orphaned, meaning it's uh, a launching like the carrier it launched from is destroyed. Through attrition, they will through attrition they will sort of just fall apart. All right, so both my ships actually leveled up. Need more antimatter. Comlink online. Ah, uh, well, actually, only one of them did. But I've also gained the ability for this um, coal battleship to have a sprite craft. Not as many as the carrier, but it's got something. Oh, look, this <laughs> dreadnought got in here. It's not ready to do anything, but it's here. Reading you loud and clear. Ready for battle. Only a matter of time before these strike craft are gone. I'm not worried. Shields are down. All right, so this isn't constructed yet. Come on. Good day, Commander. Time is short. Comlink active. How much antimatter do you need? 100. 100 antimatter. Actually, it's almost Structure got enough. Alright, so it fired off. It's gone. It's. It was terrible. See, it's, its hull is disappearing. As it. Only bombers. Oh wait, no, never, never mind. <laughs> All right, so hangar defense it is. It's a pain in the ass that my ships have to sort of sit here and take a beating. I didn't expect to get into a fight on anything that had strike craft this early. So, Comlink online. Battle stations. I didn't prepare to have to take down any strike craft, but you can see that they are. They are. It's only like fifteen percent left strength remaining. So they're, uh, through attrition, they're just disappearing. Even if you don't shoot at them, they will fall apart. And this is a hangar structure, so it'll have fighters and bombers of its own. Structure complete. This is going to slow down my progress, though. Because I'm going to have to wait for the capital ships to get uh, repaired. 
which they'll just sort of repair on their own. See, now the, the bombers are gone, so it's regenerating its shields faster than the fighters that remain can damage it. There is no further profit in attacking an empire. Is that, is that true? <laughs> Comlink online. Reading you loud and clear. Moving out. All right, so where do I want to go with this? Oh, shit. That's a siege Craig frigate. It's retreating. It fired a few times. Now it's retreating. Probably because this defense platform came online and fired on it. <laughs> so I'm going to put a hangar here. Comlink active. That's more like it. Um, I'm going to move on from here. I'm not going to just... I'm not going to go all the way back around. Although I am a little concerned that they're going to send a more powerful fleet to attack this planet soon. Structure complete. Take a look at technology. Defensive structures. Now what I really want to unlock is... Uh, what do I want to get? Where is it at? Uh, here. Ralsov prototype, so I need two more uh, two more s military star bases, no, not star bases, uh, research labs. Where can I build that? I guess I can build one here. Construct more research stations. Oh, I built a civilian one, didn't I? Shit. I need a military one. There we go. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, power to jump so that's still not enough, but I can get hangar flak turrets, which will help shoot down fighter craft. One more, and then I will have what I need Structure complete. That should be enough. Although I'm gonna wait a minute before I queue it up. Ready for battle. I'm gonna send my colony frigate to follow. Phase jump complete. Transmission received. Oh, look at this. Comlink active. Just a bunch of uh, disciple vessels. Just hanging out for no fucking reason. <laughs> I'm not going to the star. I'm going to jump to this other asteroid field here. And then over to that planet. Go ahead. Flee. Flee. Uh, at least I destroyed one. Easily done. How's my carrier doing? Alright, it's getting repaired. It's it's taking a little while though, but it's in better shape. Okay, so my hangar platform has been constructed and its strike craft are almost deployed. So, it'll be in at least a little bit of shape to defend the planet, along with that turret. At least maybe it might give me an opportunity to respond. Structure complete. Ah, they didn't go very far. They just sort of jumped into this gravity well and then waited. Then my capital ships jump in and immediately unload on them. <laughs> As you can see, it does take a little while to take to destroy even lighter ships. You have to concentrate a lot of fire on them. So battles can take a little while. Alright, there's a metal extractor just out here. 
if I can get that colony sh or yeah, that colony ship out here, I can actually just sort of steal it. A crystal or metal extractor that's not around the planet can be stolen. Need something destroyed. Just uh, it might be stolen back though, so it's not something really worth defending positioning ships around it or a uh, starbase or anything like that. Just take it, and if it gets lost, steal it again when you find your way back to it. Don't go out of your way. But my colony ship is already heading in this direction, so I'm gonna take it. It's about time. Now this planet is probably occupied. So I'm going to get into a bit of a fight when they jump in. So I'm going to have to watch this carrier to make sure that it doesn't take too much damage. If it loses its fields, I'm probably going to have it retreat. Plotting jump coordinates. Alright, so they're going to jump over. Once we hit the gravity well, we'll be able to see what's in there. Research complete. Alright, so it is an occupied planet. Although, it doesn't look like they have much in defense of it, so... I'm gonna... Okay, they do have a capital ship, but it's only a level 1. They don't have any defensive structures except for this beam defense platform. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pursue this attack. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna follow through. Uh where to, Commander? Transmission received. They're pursuing these uh, seeker vessels or whatever the hell these are. Ready for battle. For the home world. It's a waste of time. Actually, this one's almost destroyed. Take it out. Oh, the capital ship is fleeing. They know it's a lost cause. All right, that capital ship might actually move to defend if I start attacking the planet. But I'm gonna take out these uh, this beam defense platform first. Yeah, it's fleeing. It's weird that it did that. You think it would? If I were in their position. I would probably take up position near this beam defense platform, thinking that the AI, if I were fighting an AI, would move to attack the cap ship. And the beam defense platform along with the capital ship would hopefully be able to hold out long enough for me to be able to get reinforcements into the area. But it, it fled, so that's weird. Alright, so I take down this beam defense platform and then I will be completely um, free to attack the planet. Now, Cap, this will be my first planetary bombardment. Now, two different ways they can bombard a planet. You can either do it with a siege with a siege vessel, like a Kuro Kurov or whatever it's called, siege frigate, or you can do it with a capital ship or a Titan, if I had one. I'm going to do it with capital ships because that's what I have in position here. Ready for orders. I have three capital ships, so it's not an upgraded planet. It's only got 1500 HP, so this won't take too long. What's that? Oh, it's a trade zone. Drone. All right, I'm gonna build this prototype um, thing that allowed me to build a starbase. 
Starbases are the ultimate defensive fortification in this game. The majority of starbases are not actually capable of moving, and no starbase is capable of uh, getting out of its gravity well. So if I built a starbase around this planet, it stays where it's at. So it's not good for offensive moves in any way. But what it's good for is, say, I drop a starbase around this planet here. And enemies that come in, although it's possible to bypass it or attack the planet, the AI is not really smart enough to do that. And it'll go straight for the starbase or straight for the planet. And the starbases can take a beating and can give a beating. But I'm not, I don't have the technology yet. Pirate raiders are on the loose. They're not after me, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Although they may pass through this area. Alright, this crystal abstractor is my, now mine. So I'm going to move my colony ship forward. Alright, so this planet's almost bombarded out. So they're, they're just blasting the planet's surface. And it's got three or 276 HP left. Once the planet's bombarded. I may not be able to colonize it for a little while, but I'm going to spend some time with my capital ships just wrecking the structures that they have built. I really should get another capital ship built. Should. <laughs> Oh, I got all the money back. I oh, uh, when you put bounty on somebody, it doesn't just go to pirates. It can go to you too. If you attack somebody and destroy their structures or whatever, you actually get some of that money. So I was getting money for research complete, wrecking the enemy's uh, planets and structures and ships and stuff. Uh, where to, Commander? All right, so this once I've got the animator to do it, I can occupy this planet. There's no strong hostile culture or bombardment radiation or anything like that that I have to Good worry day, about. Commander. Oh, they brought their capital ship back. This shall be our finest A little late. I mean, they brought some reinforcements, but what the freaking hell? Okay, they got some light carriers. Uh, so they have one capital ship and some Fire light... And will. Some small carriers, some escort carriers. How's my carrier doing? Well, it's pretty much repaired. Not completely, but pretty close. When you destroy a capital ship, you can rebuild one. When you, a, a destroyed capital ship can be rebuilt, but it doesn't maintain its experience level. So this thing's level one, so it doesn't matter. But if, like my, uh, this ship here, can I rename this? Yes, Commander. At once. Um. Uh. I don't know. Give it something less of a stupid ass name. Calm link online. Research complete. Make it fast. There we go. Now that they have names, <laughs> if, say, the, um, the war fight here was destroyed, I could rebuild it, but it would only be a level one. Oh, Yorktown hit level two. So I have an option of... I'm going to go heavy strike craft. I can also build another strike craft, so I'm going to go with um, another fighter squadron.
Haven't colonized the planet yet. Reading you loud and clear. Okay, I'm actually taking a beating here. Because I have so many strike craft is what it is. So I'm going to disable auto cast on adaptive force field and gauss rifle. Because I want flak burst to fire off as soon as I have the antimatter to do it. Which will take a little while. And their cap ship is destroyed. And their light carriers look like they're they're bugging out. <laughs> oh nope, they move forward for some reason. They have no defensive. We uh, they have no weapons. So why'd they do that? I thought they were retreating. <laughs> Yeah, they are retreating now. They didn't before for some reason. Oh, shit. Pirates. <laughs> um, don't pick a fight with Ready pirates. Look at the size of that fleet. It's not actually all that big, but it's much bigger than I can deal with right now. Pirates have no quarrel with me. They're moving forward to attack these guys. So what I should honestly do... <laughs> stick around here a little bit. And wreck these... Um, uh, where to, Commander? Wreck these structures. And then move forward and follow the pirates. Why do I want to follow the pirates? Because the pirates are going to do an enormous amount of damage on the enemy here. And I want to take advantage of that. Because <laughs> I'm a dick. <laughs> and that's actually... Um... So yeah, I will get in there and I'll... I'll take them out as soon as I can... Uh... I'll give them a minute. Let the pirates do their thing. Gain some experience points wrecking these buildings. Plus, you're going to want these things destroyed so they're not taking up the logistic slots of any one planet. Planet development finished. How's this? Oh, it's an asteroid. Build another. Build another, um, capital ship. I can do it from here, though, because I'm going to build a capital ship factory right here. For the home world. I don't know which planet those pirates were going to attack, but it's probably this one right here. So when I get there, I might what I might find is there might be a battle going on. What's probably gonna happen is the pirates just overwhelmed the overwhelmed the enemy's defenses siege the planet and they're just sort of waiting there so I'm probably gonna be fighting the pirates as soon as I jump in so I'm gonna wait for this capital ship to be completed before I do anything like that let me build a over here I just wanna Nope, oh, nope, I need more logistic slots. What? No. <laughs> there we go. 
Ah, I used up all my crystal. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Look at for dicking around. Anything level up? Yep, this dreadnought did. Incendiary shells. Good day, Commander. Same level. You loud and clear. Same level. So I got two level threes, a level two, and I will soon have a level one uh, a cane battle cruiser. If it would just get finished and launched so I can move forward, that'd be great. Uh, where to, Commander? Yes, Commander. Now there are two paths leading away from this planet into enemy territory. The sort of I'm assuming that's enemy territory, the northwest and the southwest. The southwest is where the pirate fleet went. So I know that's gonna be the softest target. All packed up and ready to go. Alright, so let's what this thing's big deal is it has the ability to colonize planets. You can also use ion bolts which will disable enemy ships. Targeting up length, which increases, like, your ability, your, you know, uh, fleet-wide. It's a support ship. Armistice, which, um, temporary ceasefires, uh, helps you get away. I'm gonna go with Ion Bolt. I'm gonna build a bomber squadron, and I'm gonna rename this, um... And let's How can I be of service? move onward. We're underway. You don't actually need to destroy every enemy structure. There's one uh, crystal extractor sitting here. The constructor drone will actually do it for you. In fact, it's in the process of doing it now. See, this uh, construction frigate's dismantling the crystal extractor. You can't take it over because it's in a gravity well, even if you own that gravity well. Ready for orders. Which would suck. <laughs> it's not capturable. See? Won't work. Oh, okay. That crystal extractor is gone, so I can construct my own there now. Where do you need me? So now my four capital ships. Enterprise, Yorktown, Dreadnought, and War Spite are all. It's a small fleet. I really should have a bunch of frigates accompanying it diversify the fleet a little bit but you know I like making bad decisions plus I'm not convinced that this enemy is going to be able to put up a fight against what I've got phase jump on my mark I remember that the pirate fleet went in this direction and it was probably going to target this asteroid. So, I'm probably going to find a bunch of pirates just idling around. Phase jump complete. Oh, you know what? They didn't they're not here. Okay. Okay. Don't know what happened. That fleet definitely would have taken out what was here, though. So maybe they moved on and attacked the next planet. Go ahead. Yes, Commander. Standing by. Press the attack. Let's just bombard the planet. They've got no. They've got no uh, ships in orbit. And my strike craft will. 
bash away on these defense platforms. And there's honestly, there isn't even much HP on this asteroid. 1000 HP. I'll wreck it real fast. Hmm. That's already a quarter gone. So maybe the pirates actually moved through this location. Structure Wouldn't have thought they'd do that. Really should have maybe followed them just to see what they, what they did. Research complete. Research complete. I'm not sure what happens when a planet is bombarded successfully. If... Alright, so this defensive platform is still operating. I thought perhaps it wouldn't. Uh, where to, Commander? Colonize. Yes, Commander. Huh. It's possible to stop operating once, um... Once I colonize the planet. <laughs> That'd be nice. A new colony has been founded. Nope, it's still firing. That's weird. Structure complete. Something retreated. Let's see what it was. So yeah, let's stick around for a little bit and see what we can uh, we can wreck. Now my frigate factory over here is complete, so I am going to build the heavy constructor. The heavy constructor is what you use to construct star bases. Now your base star base is not going to be an incredibly powerful thing. But it will be strong enough for the early portions of the game, like what we're dealing with right now. So, if I can build a star base in that around that planet's gravity well, chances are it will be able to ward off any attack, and I can more or less just ignore this planet for a while. So, I'm going to build it as close to the planet as I can. So they can't swoop around the other side and bombard it. Now you don't need a construction uh, frigate to do it. This thing is its own construction frigate. It'll also be um, consumed in the process. So that's my star base being constructed. You'll see it start to fill out from the bottom. As uh, as the thing gets built, you can see it filling in. It's translucent up top. It becomes solid. Scout frigate. Where do you need me? Anybody level up? Nope. A sound plan. Where the capital ship factory is. Maybe that's where the pirates went. Those pirates must have gone somewhere. I can't imagine the defensive structures I saw around this planet were enough to ward off the pirates. It's gonna let my trade, my uh, destruction drones dismantle everything here. Or maybe this missile battery do it. Hmm. 
Base jump on my mark. I've got a crystal asteroid, that's good. How can I be of service? Typically I always end up needing crystal more than metal because crystal's less available. Okay, so Brace for combat. All right, so I don't see They must have fought off that pirate attack. I didn't expect them to be able to so easily, but they did it. I mean, there's nothing that their planets aren't really in a position to defend themselves. This is their capital planet. And they don't even have any ships to defend it. These are missionary vessels. They're useless. They're just going to take a beating as they try to escape. And they just have a beam defense platform. They have a capital ship factory, but it's not building anything. They must have run out of resources. Well, meanwhile, my, uh, my star base is finished. Now, as it stands, it has some pretty good attack power. It's got a Hull and hull of 3,000 HP and a shields of 2,000 HP. And it can attack multiple targets simultaneously. It also has a Gauss rifle here and hangar defense here. So, a small attack coming its way, it could easily ward off. Larger fleets coming in, multiple capital ships could probably do something about it. But I'm not worried about that at the moment. So I'm not going to upgrade it. But if I wanted to, if I wanted to upgrade it, you could take a look at the stuff that you can upgrade it with. You have more weapons, more structural integrity, hangar defense, trade facilities so it can generate income, auxiliary government, this is an awesome one. It allows you to have it essentially take over the planet as far as like um, resisting damage so you can actually bombard a planet if a star base is present with auxiliary government you don't lose control of the planet if it's bombarded um, a construction base you so you can build things instead of having a frigate factory um, docking booms uh, repair and replenish nearby forces it's like a, a repair bay and then safety override, which will blow up the star base and damage the enemy fleet that's attacking it. So I'm doing none of that. I don't even have the technology research for most of that stuff. Ready for orders. The capital ship shields are down. Oh, they brought a fleet in. Make it fast. And they have a capital ship. Look at that shit. So I actually have a fight here. Uh, okay, so most of these are actually light carriers. So they don't have any weapons of their own. They're just launching strike craft. So my four capital ships against one and a series of light carriers. Unless they bring in more reinforcements, this is a level three. Let's they bring in more with reinforcements, I'm not worried. Especially since this one's a level 4 now. Reporting in. Ion bolt, damn it. Are they retreating? The ship's moving. You don't don't jump. <laughs> so apparently they did have something in reserve. All right, its shields are down. And it got hit with a antimatter bolt or an ion bolt. See, it lost all abilities for a short period of time. Now, as the ship gets upgraded, my uh, 
this thing here, the Ion Vault will do uh, take out their abilities for a longer period of time. It's useful for preventing somebody from escaping and preventing them from doing any other action. They can't fire, they can't bite, they can't bleed, they can't do anything for a short period of time. Alright, yeah, this thing's taking massive damage. It's about to go down. Pursue it. Time is short. I don't want that thing getting away. Especially since it seems to be retreating into my planet. <laughs> Fuck it up. Fuck it up. It's gonna get away. It's gonna get away. It got away. Shit. So I'm left with a choice. Should I follow it? Should I follow it? Or should I just let it go and then finish off attacking this planet? That ability I just fired off with the uh, with the war spite there, that swept the sky clean of most of the strike craft that was in its vicinity. <laughs> Let's do it again. Fuck him up. All right, it didn't actually fire off that time. I don't know why. Alright, I'm going to let that capital ship go. I could have followed it and taken it out, but they're not in any condition to really put up a fight against me, so I'm going to let this go. I'll let my cap ship... So oh, it's back. <laughs> Why, is it Why is it back? <laughs> it didn't really get any repairs in. And it's immediately trying to retreat. Oh, yeah, it's gone. Doesn't make any sense why it came back. I guess that made up the decision for me. I didn't have to even follow it. Alright, I'm on the verge of wiping out the opposition in this... in this star system, so... Maybe I can just start building up technology and building a Titan. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll find a planet which is suitable for it. Like this one here. Additional research required. Um, what? Oh, where is it? Alright, so Titan Foundry. Research prerequisites not met. Oh, uh, that they warp more ships in? No, still these just these drone hosts. Whoops. Alright, so this is the Titan Foundry. This is the shipyard that the Titan will be built at. Now, I don't actually have the technology necessary to construct the Titan fully, but as I'm researching it, I will be able to uh, get... Oh, they brought another capital ship in. Standing by.
Level 1, though. I mean, I got a level 4, level 4, level 2, level 3. Doesn't stand a chance. Good day, Commander. Take him out. All right, so I'm actually short a uh, military star base, which I need to finish the Titan research. So, this looks like a good planet to uh, build it. Military lab, not a star base. You know, maybe this thing actually, did it warp in or did it get built here? You can actually tell when something's being built, I think. Uh, which one? Oh, the, uh, the Dreadnought. Been heavily damaged. It's less heavily damaged than the enemy, though. Come on. It's, it's trying to get away. It won't, though. It's out of health. It's gone. Time is short. They're as good as dead. Oh, okay. They've uh, actually been defeated. I'm not sure why I didn't actually bombard their planet, but they're gone. They're meaning that their government has been destroyed. But they'll, but they'll persist for some reason. It's weird how this works. Go ahead. Yes, Commander. Oh, Titan Foundry is going to take a while to build. Research required. Yeah, yeah, I know. Alright, this should be all the research I need to construct a Titan. I just need the resources to actually build it and the time. Now, where's my Titan boundary? And I do not have enough ship, capital ship crew. Or crystal. So I need, I believe, two capital ship crew crystal is in order to crew Research a Titan. Complete. So I'm gonna buy some crystal. Fleet capacity. More crystal is needed. Crystal, buy some crystal. Okay, so I've queued the Titan. So a lot of stuff has to happen before the Titan can even be started. For one thing, its shipyard has to be built. This has to be researched. This has to be researched. This and this will have to be researched. And then the Titan will have to be actually built. So... <laughs> it's gonna be a bit. But that Titan will be a beast. All right, yeah, they're gonna bet they're going to bombard the planet now. It'll take a little while. It's got a lot of health. It's 5,600 instead of the usual 1,000 or 1,500. Structure complete. Oh, for some reason, Dreadnought isn't bombarding the planet. 
It's focused on the capital ship factory. It would actually be cool if they would manage to build off another capital ship before it's destroyed. It would just give me another capital ship to destroy and gain experience points for. <laughs> I doubt that's happening, though. Alright, so... This is completed, but I still don't have... Intel reports an this complete. Raid. So, I don't know. Taking the taking a few more minutes. Titans are tremendously slow. Attacking an empire has become more profitable. And the Titan that I'm building, as with everything with the Research TEC, completed. is defensively oriented. The TEC loyalists, anyway. So it's something that you're actually. It, it is an offensive weapon, but. Its weapons are posted all the way around the sides of it. So it's a good idea when you get into a fight with it to push it into the center of an enemy fleet so it can fire in every direction. This is as opposed to the TEC Rebel ship, which has a big cannon right on the front. And it can fire to the sides, but most of its firepower is concentrated in the front. So you position it toward an enemy fleet instead of in the middle of it. Of course, if you're going to fight one, you're going to want to surround it, as opposed to my ship, which you'll want to concentrate your fleet on one side of it. Taking a while. Since their government's been destroyed, I'm going to assume they don't really have anything at this planet to put up a fight. Alright, so... Still waiting on... Still waiting on the technologies to be researched. Yeah, this one... Actually, you know what? It's uh, Actually, it's not waiting on that, because it can start construction on the Titan before you finish all the research. What it needs is fleet supply. And Titans will level up like capital ships will. But I think Titans might be a little different in the sense that if they are destroyed, you can rebuild a Titan at the same level of its previous one. So that's, uh, that's cool. It is frustrating, though, if you destroy an enemy Titan and they just rebuild it. It gets right back to the level it was at. That's a pain in the ass. As opposed to, the, like, the strategy that I usually employ, which is to try to preserve a Titan. Come on, you got this. Fuck up that planet. That's their capital. You see the crown sticking out of the side of the icon. Research complete. Research complete. Oh, research was complete. That means my Titan's being built. Titan can bombard, bombard planets also. See, there it is. It's getting put together. How long does this take? 409 seconds. Someone do the math for me. I don't feel like doing it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have just free reign to take over this entire solar system, though. Titans will take over from the capital ships as your most valuable units, though. So this uh, capital ship, the worst fight, was my highest level one and, like, the most well-rounded one I have. So it was essentially sort of like my flagship. The Titan will become, even though it will only be level one, it will be so much more powerful that it's what I'm going to be paying most attention to. 
Not to say that capital ships aren't useful. And since you can only actually have one Titan at a time, no matter how much technology I research or whatever, I can only have one Titan built at one time. You still have to use capital ships to fill out your fleet. Not that I'm diversifying my fleet anyway. I mean, I don't have any frigates here. Frigates or cruisers. Which I really should. I just haven't expected the enemy to put up strong of a fight, much of a fight, and they really haven't. So, it hasn't been an issue. This plant's taking forever to bombard. Jeez. It's only because I only have four ships on it. Almost, come on. 18 health left. And it's done. We have obliterated an enemy's capital. Yes, we have. A new colony has been and founded. my capital ship colonized it immediately. And I got, well, these extractors are still around. So I'm going to let my capital ships destroy them while the Titan is getting built. Then for the next plan, I'm going to move the, try to move the Titan in at the same time as the capital ships. So let it get some experience under its belt. Development finished. This is going to have a lot. This is going to like going to have a lot of income to it. A lot of money. It's already at zero percent under development tax rate, and it's still got three more upgrades to go. So it's going to make a lot of money for me. Wish I can get more crystal, though. Let me research the crystal more technologies. Crystal Take it out. Come on. There we go. God. <laughs> Taking forever. These capital ships actually completely... Development finished. Nah, he might as well get out of there and take out that scout frigate. It's filling up sort of like the same way that the that the starbase did. So it actually looks more complete looking at the model than it does looking at the progress bar. Oh, I'm under attack over here. Oh, no. Just a uh, figure scout ship. Something I tend to do is I will go and I will place a star base around the star. Because the star is typically used as the jump point between planets, between star systems. So if you place a star base there, you can have your enemies trying to get through with your star can come under attack by your star base. The only problem with that is, without like a planetary gravity well, you can't build additional fortifications like turret defenses or hangar defenses. So you have to consider that. Uh, TEC loyalists, though, have the ability, if you research enough, 
to have two star bases in a single gravity well, which can make up any one planet a real bugger to try to destroy, but can also have them supporting each other uh, next to each other at around the planet, uh, around the star. Or you could potentially like put one here and one here on the other side. I don't think I'm going to do that here, though. Come on, Titan. It's almost done. Come on. It's almost done. Structure complete. This is all I want in the world. Come on. <laughs> wreck it. I mean, don't wreck it. Build it. <laughs> Too bad there's no countdown. It'd be nice if there was a countdown. So you could s see exactly how much time is necessary for it to be constructed. It's so close. So close. Planet development finished. Oh, uh, the hair. Ready to provide cover for there we go. Ready to move out. So it's got a bunch of new abilities. Disruption Matrix, uh, Furious Defense, Group Shield. Antimatter funneling, superior gunnery, and fortified superstructure. I have two abilities I can choose right off the bat, and I can have two strike craft immediately. So let's move it to the next planet. I'll never fail. Now let's get my capital ship fleet into that same gravity well. Yes, Commander. There may not actually be much of anything to destroy here. But let's do it anyway. Our orders, Commander. The Titan will get there first. Research complete. Phase jump complete. Diverting power to jump engines. It's level one, but with how much health it has, how much shields it has, and if it's got a fight to fight here, you'll see. Ah. All right, so the capital ships got there first. But there's nothing really to fight against it. There's no defensive structures or anything. Targets in sight. All right. Let's do its thing <laughs> and move the fleet forward to fuck up whatever whatever we can find. Um Yeah, Titan's quite a bit bigger than a capital ship. Research complete. And they do take a while for them to level up. They take longer to level up than a capital ship does. This thing is still smoking. Oh, well, the Dreadnought still hasn't managed to repair all of its damage, battle damage. To protect and serve. Um. We have wiped out an enemy colony. Oh. Uh, um. <laughs> 
See, it turns it to its side so it can expose the bulk of its guns and engage multiple targets simultaneously. Now, if there were enemy structures on the other side of it, it would fire on them as well. And that's what this style of Titan is useful for. Placing it in the dead center of a combat situation and just letting it Where letting it do it? its thing. Uh, where to, Commander? Yes, Commander. This looks like a good planet to build some... ...research stations. Anybody level up? Nope. This planet will be mine, but I'm not going to wait around to claim it. Commander. Once this structure is destroyed, my fleet's moving on. Now, I don't know what's in this planet. It's been a long time. Maybe nothing. True to the cause. There's probably nothing there. Something tells me these people, uh, what is it, the Cult of Therably? never managed to actually get very far. Maybe that pirate raid went and just wrecked them and they couldn't expand fast enough. A new colony has been founded. We How much money is this one making for me? Intel Point seven. I would have thought it'd be more than that. That sucks. <laughs> Attacking an empire has become more profitable. Uh, I gotta increase its population. Ready for orders. What can I research? Structure complete. Oh, uh, volcanic ice, ice, Arctic exploration. I need to do that because it's an Arctic planet I'm heading to. Uh, I need more crystal. That was dumb. <laughs> dumb of me to buy crystal just to research something that I, I can't even research yet. <laughs> Structure complete. Because I'm researching something else. Buying crystal is almost always a waste of money. I just reordered the tech research. So that way the Arctic research will get done faster. Good day, Commander. Sometimes it takes a while for capital ships to position themselves to jump. Pirate raiders are on the loose. There we go. Kind of hoping for a good fight. Although I'm thinking I probably won't get one. What I should probably do at this point is I'll move forward and take the um, take this planet and then maybe I will build out my capital ship fleet. Planet development finished. Structure complete. Alright. Where are you at? Come on. Jump complete. An uninhabited planet. Oh, no. The purples are here. Oh, time to claim some of that purple bounty. 
Oh, look, they have a uh, they have a heavy constructor. They were going to build a star base here. Oh, I caught them at the perfect opportunity. Perfect time. I mean, my Titan could have taken down a entry level star base, but it would have been a pain in the ass. They were fortifying this place. And they're and they're pros they're gonna do it too. They're gonna They're about to. I mean I can't intercept that thing in enough time to destroy it. But I can uh Research complete. I can destroy the star base as it's being built. Uh, or are they not even going to try? I should probably let them start. I'm going to let them start. Then I'll destroy the star base as it's being constructed. Or my strike craft will fuck it up as it's sitting there. Yeah, that's what'll happen. <laughs> Yeah, it's just gonna sit there as my strike craft whale on it. That's weird. I was kind of hoping it would build a star base. Probably, maybe the AI is smart enough to realize that that's futile and it shouldn't even try. Go ahead. Transmission received. Oh, nope, it's building the star base. Our orders, Commander. All right, so the planet's almost gone. No further profit in attacking an empire. So it's being constructed, so it's building up its HP and its fields. So if I let it go, it'll be finished building. Now I can damage it before it's finished. And it's 22% complete. But if I move my fleet in, I can either destroy it before it's finished, or I can have it by the time it is finished be in such a weakened state that I can just finish it off easily enough. It can't actually defend itself at all while it's under construction. Research complete. So this will be a curb stomp. Yeah, it's about to get fucked up real bad. Look at that. It's about to go boom. Didn't even get finished. They didn't have any structures here. They must have just taken the planet. Just took the planet, I guess. More crystal is needed. Need crystal. Planet development finished. More crystal is needed. You can also, if you really want to. You can do things like stick some uh, metal or crystal on the market here and let that sell, but it it's unreliable. So I'll just use these quick buy and sell buttons. So I need like 800 crystal, which is going to be expensive if I want to build new capital ships at the moment. So. Hopefully, well, I got some technology being researched. Oh, it's already researched. Fantastic. Ah, oh, well. Good day, Might as well Commander. keep this train rolling. It looks like I got... I'm jumping to the planet of a different star system, so that's weird. Usually that's not something you can actually do. 
you got to jump between star systems with uh, from a star. But I guess they're close enough that you can do this. Planet development finished. Come on now. Get in the position, Titan. <laughs> We're all waiting on you. Structure complete. Ready for orders. Comlink active. We're all okay. There we go. We're moving. It's actually the first one to make the jump too. Scouts have found a colonizable planet. Is that what we call this? <laughs> for the homeworld. Looks like it's already colonized. All right, they got nothing here to defend themselves. So, time to just start fucking them up. Uh, where to, Commander? Where the hell do you think? Get up here and colonize. Five. Ships. Research complete. How many crews will that get? Okay, I can build two more capital ships with that. Planet development finished. Structure complete. Let me sell some metal. I've I've a, a surplus of metal at the moment. That'll help me fund my crystal buying activities. And hopefully that means that I will be able to build some new capital ships. Now let's just diversify the fleet a little bit here with one of every type of capital ship now. Including the ones that aren't very useful. The support ships and the other stuff like that. Research complete. Hydrometallurgy, huh? That sounds complicated and non-existent. <laughs> oh, dude, you better run, bro. My fighters are after you. Uh, where to, Commander? Yeah, the AI is not really doing much of a job. Maybe, do I have it on easy or something? Because it feels like they really should have uh, been able to put up a better fight than this. Unless they have a larger fleet on standby in reserve that's on its way. I'm not seeing anything that indicates that they're putting up a good fight. Wiped out and playing for two hours now. A new colony has been founded. That was quick. Immediately colonized that. Ready for orders. And the colony frigate didn't even do it. Might as well stick around and wreck these structures. My two new cap ships aren't complete yet.
Alright, so these are the ones that I'm fighting right now. I don't have any packs with them. There is a diplomacy side to this game, but really it is very much underdeveloped. It's not like a civilization or whatever, where you have the opportunity to manage complex trade deals and all that kind of stuff. Really all it ends up being in this game is they will hand you some kind of a deal. A mission. Destroy some enemy ships of this enemy type or other type uh, of an enemy civilization or something like that. You do it, you gain favor with them. You don't, you lose favor with them. If you gain enough favor with them, you can have packs or trade deals or whatever with them. If not, you're going to be at war. You potentially have alliances or non-aggression packs, but it doesn't present as being anything really sophisticated in the game. What is that? Uh, it's just a secret vessel. Oh, okay, so it's being built. And, um, what did I have here? It said Dunov Battle Cruiser. Shield Restore, EMP Charge, Magnetize, and Flux Field. This is a support capital ship. Now, it is actually pretty capable of engaging enemy ships as well, but that's not really its primary purpose. It's made for helping your other ships out. So I'm going to do Shield Restore, so it'll restore the shields of of allied ships. It's also going to have a strike craft at, immediately. So this will be, um, you know, let's call it the hood. Look at this. They got a uh, heavy constructor moving on in. They're gonna are they gonna actually try to build a star base here after I've already conquered the planet? <laughs> and I got another capital ship open. moving in. More crystal is needed. Of course it is. Jump coordinates. More crystal is needed. More crystal is needed. Be nice if I can solve that Our crystal problem. The fight. Reading you loud and clear. Uh, I try to keep the number of fighters and strike craft I have even. Ready to take our troops to the front line. <laughs> but we have an odd number here, so. Battle station. All right, it's not going to do anything. It's for some reason it's not retreating, so just destroy it. It's about to get messed up real bad. Structure complete. Standing by. Up. Oh, all right. So my other, my other capital ship is complete as well. Here we go again. So what do I have here? It's a cursive class battle cruiser. They have um let's see we have boarding party takes over enemy frigates and structures. Um uh, demolition team targets own frigates and structures structures to the targets remaining hull, not really a thing I like. Salvage operations it regains hull points when enemy when allied ships are destroyed and elite cruise which is the prestige ability 
Uh, targets enemy grapple ships, gains increased weapon damage, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go with boarding party. Um... Honestly, not a capital ship. I like having a lot of them in my fleet. Oh, look, they are building a fucking, uh... Starbase. Wow. That's weird. <laughs> weird that they're actually doing it after they lost the planet. Why would you do that after you've already lost the planet? You get it here before it's under attack. I mean, seriously. Now, it's only at 29% complete and it's already under fire. It's not going to be completed. You should have had it retreat back to the gravity well it came from and build a starbase there. It might actually be complete by the time I start my attack. But uh, something, the AI is just not very smart. And it's gone. That was even quicker than last time. Didn't even see its HP bar diminish. To protect and serve. All right, so I can build some more capital ships. Pirate raiders are on the loose. I'm going to build another carrier and another coal battleship because those are the two most useful ones if you're going to build individuals. And my fleet is just going to sort of loiter in this area until they can join up. Nah, they're not even constructing them yet. Maybe I should move on. I'm still waiting on this. Anything I can build here? I guess I can hold up just for a bit. Let my resources re uh, build up, you know. Because I did kind of burn through all of my money and my crystal. The only thing I have a lot of is metal still, and I really don't even have a whole hell of a lot of metal. Like, my entire fleet is concentrated in one area, too. It's like the dumbest strategy. <laughs> oh, this thing's about to get fucked up. It's beelining straight for the starbase. Look at that, it's under fire already. <laughs> Gonna get away though. Nope, oh, not even, not even, uh... Not even building my capital ships yet. It's a pain in the ass. Alright, I'm gonna move on. Or you know what? No, I'll just cut the camera. Okay, so my capital ships have been completed. Um let's see uh Comlink online. And let's give it its Oh wait, no, that's a carrier, isn't it? Um, that's a carrier. Uh, there is no further profit in attacking an empire. Where's my other capital ship, the new one? Might already be here. Here it is. Comlink active.
All right, I'm going to give that the flat cannon now. Unlike before, when I was uh, not really concerned with running into enemy strike craft, I know I will. So its primary ability is going to be shooting down strike craft. Ready to deploy. So I'm going to group them all together so they jump as a group. Here we go again. This is the direction that that construction frigate, the heavy construction frigate came from. So I'm going to send my new, even more powerful capital ship fleet north. Is this planet built out? While I'm waiting for that to happen, we're going to take a gander at something else you can do. You can explore planet which potentially gives you the opportunity to find artifacts artifacts give you certain abilities like increased funds or increased um what is it um influence on enemy civilizations all that kind of stuff i don't put a lot of focus on it i'd rather use my resources to build ships not Standing explore by. but i'm on a holding pattern uh, pattern right now i'm not going to build any more capital ships for the moment um, technology. I do have a lot of technology that I can build out. Haven't really been focusing much on the tech tree. Like I should be. Oh, wait, hold on. What am I researching that for? Undo that. Get that money back. <laughs> oh, they're waiting on the two new capitals. Go ahead. Transmission received. These are level ones. So, my Titan is still level one. And then I have level one, level one, level one, level one, level three, four, three, four. Okay, so the first... Um, planetary exploration mission has been finished and they didn't find anything but there were two considering this was a capital planet I'm assuming that something is there so I'm having the second research mission or exploration mission going forward and hopefully there'll be something standing by This, they might finally be in for a fight. This other civilization seems to have had their shit together a little bit more. Although I was attacking on the periphery of their empire. So, their defenses were not up to snuff. Hoping they're a little bit better now. I really should be building frigates and cruisers. Frigates and cruisers get destroyed though. So, I'm kind of... Reluctant to throw them into a fight. Nothing of value has been found. Ah, there was nothing there. Oh, nothing at all. I wasted money on nothing. Fine. More crystal is needed. Duh, of course. <laughs> it's a long jump. Research complete. And not much, although there is some capital ships here. Look at that. A capital ship fleet. A three, a four, a three, and a two. This thing is the softest target, and it's got the highest firepower, so take it out first. They have nothing that can stand up to my Titan, though, so... This is what I call a win. It's actually going to be a pretty significant tactical and strategic victory for me. Because the... Um, to the I'm going to destroy their capital ships. And this is a major part of their ability to continue fighting. In fact, they're retreating immediately. They're retreating immediately. They know they can't win. So I want to take out at least this one capital ship. I'll let the rest of them go if it means I can get this one. Yeah, 
Get him. Take him out. Don't let it get away, come on. Research complete. There's some missiles going in. Come on, don't let it get away. <laughs> Don't slow down. Jeez, they stopped to, to engage their stupid missile batteries. It's a pain in the ass when playing as TEC, especially TEC loyalists. Enemies can get out of can slip out of your grasp, you know? Dreadnought just leveled up. Alright, so it's getting away. God damn it. got away. I can't believe it got away. Fine. Get out. Get the stupid planet. Destroy this planet. Unbelievable. They slowed down to engage those stupid missile batteries. Now I... I explicitly ordered them to go straight for the Dreadnought. But it, they their orders, they forgot their orders for some reason. It does take a while for capital ships to get repaired, though. So it's going to be in bad shape. Unless there's a repair factory where they have repair frigates. They're not going to be able to repair that thing enough, well enough by the time I do manage to jump into the next planet. And I'm not going to wait around. As soon as this thing is wrecked, this planet is wrecked, I'm moving on. I got him on the back foot. I'm not going to let him regroup. Here we go again. So I'll bring my... Ready for orders. Colony ship frigate. Yes, Commander. In to uh, colonize this planet. I'm not going to have my cap ship do it. And once it's colonized, I'm just going to have the construction frigates dismantle the rest of these buildings. Of course, my my battle fleet's going to do some damage on the way out the door. I want these things moving on. I want these things kicking ass. I don't want them cleaning up. They got more important to shit to do. For some reason, one of my cap ships didn't uh, didn't get the order to move on. Which one is that? It's the Enterprise. Reporting in. This better not be another suicide mission. Uh, I got some level ups. All right. I always do. Oh, that was the only level up, leveled up capital ship. Ready to deploy. Actually, these missile batteries will stick around and damage these things a little bit more. The missile batteries aren't like tremendously powerful. Intel reports an impending pirate raid. Of course, there's always an impending pirate raid. Yeah, they actually wrecked one of one of these things. And I don't know what we're shooting out here. Oh, it's a trade Our ship. Is under attack. Attacking an empire really? has become more profitable. Really? You little fucker. Face jump on my mark. Standing by.
Hopefully the fleet's actually just sort of loitering on the outer, outer edge. And I'll just sort of jump in and immediately open fire on them. Nope, nope, they're over here. Get that damn dread... Oh, they're jumping out! Unbelievable. What is this? They're jumping back into my, my planet. The capital ship factory, so I wanted to destroy that. See, it didn't get much repair work in. There is no further profit in attacking an empire. Don't let it get away this time. It's gonna get away. Damn you! Ion bolt! Ugh. Everybody take this thing out. For some reason, their carrier just positioned itself in the middle of my fleet. <laughs> the dumbest thing it could have done. Of course, it's probably going to just make a quick jump. Uh, I don't have enough antimatter to ion bolt the thing. Crystal extractors, not metal ones. Is it not even trying to retreat? Alright, so I destroyed their carrier. Finally got that iron ion bolt out. Oh, okay, so the capital ships came back. Ready to move out. Oh, and so did their dreadnought. Ha! <laughs> For some reason, they retreat and then return. This is the second time this has happened. Alright, so their dreadnought's gone. Their, their carrier's down, their dreadnought's down. There's another carrier, and what is this? Uh, battle cruiser. So this is a softer target, I think. Oh, oh it's level 3 compared to level 2. Well, it's already taken damage, so... So I don't have to give chase. They're just sort of presenting themselves as targets. Look at this. This is not a fair fight. Look at the size of this. And they're about to lose this battle cruiser. So oh, that shit. That's not. That's not a fair fight. You're just presenting yourself as experience points for my my capitals. Now you're trying to retreat. Now they're all going to open up on the carrier. It'll go down faster. It's got nothing. Is it? Is it really? Well, it's not under siege. Actually, my defense platform is doing its thing. So I'm fine. Oh wait, shit, it is under siege. Well, would you look at that. Planet development finished. Good day, Commander. Yes, Commander. Get back there and defend the planet. The rest of the ships continue to assault here. So I sent one capital ship back because what they've done here is they've sent in some siege frigates. Now, the one defense platform I have here is going to take out this, but they seem to have built, destroyed my construction, um, my construction frigate. So I can't build another one down here to defend. And these two siege frigates are slowly going to whittle away the health of my planet. And they'll probably actually end up 
destroying it. So, no, this is a capital planet. Oh, look, I took over an enemy uh, light frigate. I have a, I have a, um, finally got a frigate <laughs> in this fleet. Arizona is now level two. Suicide mission. Yeah, I don't think my. Uh, I don't think my capital ship's getting in there in enough time. I mean, it's possible that as soon as it jumps in, these two ships retreat. That happens sometimes. But I think I'm going to lose that planet. Speaking of losing a planet, they're about to lose their planet here. It's their capital planet. It's under fire by a lot of ships, and I don't think they have the military to defend it. Oh look, more ships incoming. Where is my capital ship? It's on its way. I wish it would hurry up. Commander. It's level five now. Hmm. Structure complete. Plotting jump coordinates. Come yeah. Active. Plot them and get moving. The long jump. I got you. Come on now. This is a different, actually, a different civilization that launched this attack. It's the Blues. The Blues, I've only sort of stumbled across from time to time. Ah, uh, yeah, they're, they're, I'm pretty sure they got this planet destroyed. I could just recolonize it, though. It'll be fine. It'll cost me a little bit of money because I'll have to do the um, Easily done. rebuilding it for the taxes thing, but for the home world, I can just rebuild. It'll be okay. Squadron checking in. Come in, Tacom. Over. I was hoping maybe they'd immediately retreat we as soon as the capital ship jumped in. Capital. A new colony has been founded. And I just lost the planet. Alright, so there's this one more enemy civilization to destroy. And that is the Blues. Now let's go and take them out. Give the order. Now I don't know where they are, but... <laughs> They're probably in this direction. Considering that they're sending this fleet in. That is, they're, they're trying to get away now. Of course you are. Little sissies. Ready for orders. Alright, send my uh, colony ship back in there to do its thing. Yes, Commander. Link active. Get down there and punish them for what they did. Ready to move out. Yeah, well, hurry up and do it. I'm not sure you're actually all that ready. Planet development finished. Oh, it turned around. The 
to fight. <laughs> Uh, they came from here. All right. All hands, prepare for phase jump. Do your thing. Good day, Commander. All right, I'm going to keep the worst spite in orbit for a little bit until I can build some defensive structures there. But I'm not too Call concerned with that planet. Phase jump complete. Ah, look at this. Nothing. Nothing to defend themselves. Go ahead. Colonize, damn it. You haven't been doing, like, nothing for a long time, so you better have the antimatter. <laughs> Our planet is under siege. What? You suck. Link active. All right, fine, fine. Finished. That's more like it. You bastards. <laughs> I will be able to get down there and save that planet, though. Nothing saving this one, though. A new colony has been founded. All right, so I'm going to build a few of these. Plotting jump coordinates. This should actually be enough. I've got coverage all the way around the planet. That should be enough to defend it. Our backup is joining the fight. Ready for battle. And I should be able to destroy the siege frigate. They're not that... They don't really have that much in terms of defenses. Meaning they'll they'll take they'll go down quick. In fact, it's immediately trying to retreat. What I was hoping last time. It's actually the same ship too. Good day, Commander. Planet development finished. Ready That's some level ups. Um, Standing by. Com channel open. All right. Where do you need me? 90 antimatter. How many do you have? How much do you have? 63. Alright, I'm going to hold up here until they can colonize. Don't let that get away. <laughs> it got away. Conlink active. Unbelievable. Yes, Commander. At once. It's almost destroyed, but it got away. It's going to try and attack that planet again, isn't it? Oh, nope. It's immediately going to go for a jump to the next system. Next planet, rather. Structure complete. Ready for battle. A new colony has been founded. Yay. 
easily done for the home world. Reading you loud and clear. Time to no keep your enemy will get by us. Your uh, trek down south. Comlink online. Please be crystal. Yes, finally. Jeez. Planet development finished. To be um good day. Wreck that good damn day. uh Easily done. Siege figure frigate. Guess we did. I got a couple more or three more capital ships actually under construction right now. But I'm pretty sure I got everything I need to win this game. Standing by. Just a matter of time until I manage to get everybody in the position and just knock them down. Structure complete. Face jump on my mark. Structure complete. Weird, I haven't actually... Listen, I don't even know if I'm actually in this planet's uh, solar system yet. You'd think this would have some pathway to the, the star. But, nope. Scouts have found a colonizable planet. Oh, they got a star base. Hold on tight. An actual star base, it's complete. It's not just uh, under construction. Research complete. It does look like it's a low level one, not built out very well. So it's not gonna present much of a problem for a fleet of the size that I have. Although this stupid, um, this stupid me? light frigate's gonna Let be dumb have. enough to try and pick a fight with it itself. How can I be of service? So I'm going to divert it off to attack the uh, hangar. I'm going to bombard the planet before I take out the star base. I'm not even bothering to retreat this colony frigate. Not that a colony frigate has um, much, of a, they have much of a use for one right now. The civilization's already collapsed, they just still have planets for some reason. Intel reports an impending pirate raid. Yeah, it's not coming my way, I don't give a shit. The price on our head has increased. And no, like the sound of that. Yeah, they started throwing bounty on me, so I had to quickly throw some bounty on them we so the pirates attack them instead of me. <laughs> Alright. All of you, destroy that starbase. So finally, we're going to get to see a starbase on fleet battle. A good one, actually. Plotting jump coordinates. I gotta go around the planet, I guess. We're gonna bidding war for the pirates. Hold steady. We're going in. Ignore that shit. Get destroy the starbase. I can't, can I? Oh look at this. They sent a small fleet to attack my uh, planet here. Our backup is joining the fight. My defense platforms are complete, though. So they're going to have a little bit of... little bit of difficulty dealing with this. 
So I'm not even going to... I'm not going to divert my fleet to uh, protect. Ready for battle. I'm going to send my new ships up here. Um... They don't have any cap ships. Oh, yeah, they do. This one here. That's more like it. I'll make short work out of them. Carrier at the ready. They're like it's it's capable of fighting back, but see, it can deal a lot of firepower out. But it's not upgraded. It doesn't have a lot of firepower. It doesn't have a lot of shields. It doesn't have a lot of defenses compared to a fleet of this size. What now? So it might take out this this uh, light frigate, which I'm gonna. Our fleet is under attack. Oh wait, now we got that star base. It's gone. Enterprise is leveled up. Com link online. Reporting in. Ahead slow. Face jump on my mark. Um, they keep sending in more ships. I'm hoping that the combination of my low-level capital ships and my defensive platforms are going to swing this battle in my favor. Comlink online. Times of war are upon us. Reporting in. A sound plan. Just colonize the damn thing already. Need 90 antimatter, come on. <laughs> About to lose this defense platform. What happened to the capital ship they brought in now? Here, here it is. Right, it's under fire. From this platform, which it's winning, of course. Structure complete. Reading you loud and clear. Through to the cars! Capital ship shields are down! Plotting jump coordinates. Tom Link active. One more up. Oh, it's already it's already jumped in. Good day, Commander. So, I got three capital ships and some damaged defensive platforms to fight this small enemy fleet with one decently leveled capital ship. Get over here and help the fight. If you say so. Got a job for me? Wasn't talking to you. Just explore. Capital 
little ship has been heavily damaged. All right, time for that to retreat. It may not make it out. Wasn't paying enough attention. They're going to follow it. Calculating jump coordinates. I should have kept that higher level capital ship in the area. Planet development finished. I was actually kind of hoping that these planets would snake their way around hands. and I would for phase jump. be able to um, find my way to whoever was attacking me. Reading you loud and clear. I'm about to lose this capital ship. Jump, damn it. Jump! 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 Don't just stand there! Ah. You suck. That's what I get for not having frigates. This is not a planet. Reporting in. Ahead slow. Standing by. Comlink active. Huh. Yeah, this is not a link online. It's not a battle I can win. Time to retreat. But I'm probably going to lose that freaking carrier, too. Be nice of these, uh... I'm just going deeper and deeper. It's like I'm getting further and further away. Hopefully this connects to this. Or at least it connects to a, uh... A blue civilization's planet, so I can. Ships has been destroyed. Yeah, of course it has. That was the carrier, right? Plotting jump coordinates. All right, so I have a actually do have a. Um, Frigate Fame factory right here. Times of so let's build some... Upon us. Build a few uh, frigates to help us in that fight. Then return and start kicking ass. Hopefully my last capital ship escapes. I don't know if it did. <laughs> it did. Good day, Commander. Didn't really take much of a beating, but that's more like it. Please be a blue planet. Where do you need If I start attacking one of their planets, they might pull in all of their um, everything that they got attacking me to defend. Planet development finished. Reporting for duty. Should have built a star base there. I just wasn't expecting them to devote that much resources into attacking this planet here. At least they're not sieging the planet yet. They're destroying all this other shit. Structure complete. Another not planet. Oh, pirates. Don't attack the pirates. They're not here for me. In fact, they are going to do what I figured that they would have done earlier. Which is actually go and soften up the enemy that 
Like, so this is probably a blue planet, since blue is what's got all the bounty. They'll move in and attack it, and then I'll move in later and finish off, you know? Good day, Commander. Ready for battle. Third one. Ready for battle. Comlink online. Reporting for duty. Good day, Commander. Uh, you Stand gotta level by. up also. Our orders, Commander! No, don't attack the pirates. Get to the next planet. No enemy will get by us. Reporting for duty. Pirates are there first, so they're going to take the brunt of the attack. Not that big of a fleet, though, so I really shouldn't have been too concerned with that. Actually, you know what? These uh, blue guys have taken some attrition. Maybe I might want to move this fleet in now. Active. Easily done. Reporting for duty. Ready for battle. Yeah, that capital ship's not in good shape. This, uh... The fence platform has done the number on it. There's still one left. I guess it's Reporting intending to, to destroy all of the defense platforms before it sieges the planet. Which isn't smart, Flying but, you know, it is a stupid AI. Day. Good day, Commander. Please be a blue planet. Be a blue planet. Be a blue planet. Scouts have found a colonizable planet. It is not. It's unoccupied. And it, it leads away. Why does it lead away? Fine, colonize the goddamn thing and then... Where do you need me? Of course, I don't have enough antimatter. There is no further profit in attacking an empire. Reading you loud and clear. Where is blue? Comlink online. Plotting jump coordinates. Time for you to get moving. Battle stations. That thing's almost gone. Shouldn't have any trouble taking it out. A new colony has been founded. Yay. Joining the fight. It wasn't even occupied. How can I be of service? A sound plan. Am I just in an empty section? I mean, I didn't have a lot of uh, enemy AIs to fight against, so it's possible that there were just large chunks of this map that weren't occupied, especially if it just sort of randomly placed us all in tight groups.
It's got eight HP left. Huh. <laughs> and it's gone. That last defense platform is still alive. Barely, but it still is. And it might survive thanks to the fact that all the ships have changed their attention to attacking my capital ships. To protect and serve. Come on. I'm having a hard time highlighting. The click and drag doesn't always work. Where do you need me? Probably because the game has got so much slowdown that like I'm clicking during a dropped frame or something and it's not registering. Come on, position yourselves. Oh no, they took out that defense platform. There's a bunch of little frigates though, so Good day, Commander. Not concerned. Plotting jump coordinates. What now? What the hell do you think? Get in yes, a fight. Sir. Make it fast. Structure complete. Blue planet, blue planet, blue planet, blue planet. Planet development finished. Pirates. This was a blue planet. <laughs> Finally leads back. Might as well fight these pirates now. Launch your fighters. Do your thing. Gain some experience here. And I might actually get, get a uh, frigate or two out of this. And I will be able to link up my two fleets, finally. Because <laughs> it leads back to the common planet in between. Ship shields are down. It is it? Why? <laughs> Game's got so much slowdown, it's driving me nuts. Ah, uh, you know what? It's fine. Yeah, its shields are down, but I'm. I'm just savaging this fleet. So much so I'm not even concerned here. This is mostly just free experience points. My Titan has not. My Titan has not leveled up yet. That's ridiculous. If I really wanted to, I could destroy the. 
I could destroy the uh, pirate base so they won't be able to attack me anymore. But, I mean, the pirate base is so well defended that it would... The resources that I have to dump into doing it are just insane. I'd actually be better off building a Novalith cannon, or a few of them, and uh, which is technology that you could research uh, here, which is used for just doing insane damage to victory. And I win. <laughs> what the. F <laughs> Something tells me I didn't actually achieve that victory that the pirates did, because <laughs> I did not I did not take out one of their uh, planets. Three hours in. <laughs>